that is Ms. Ashley Giller. I have this is a business reading for a cancer manifesting a business or business idea or working on a business or business idea. Um, intuitive and spiritual guidance for a cancer to bring success to that business or try again with another one. I don't know what spirit is going to say. Sometimes when I do these business readings and I do readings on myself, it'll tell me continue to work hard. Don't worry about what you see. Things aren't what they seem. It's working out for you. Or it'll say, you know, put that to the side and try something else. Um, and that, you know, that has been said to me before. Ooh, I do not want all these cards. Do I want to take these? Do I want to take these? I'll take them. All right. So, Cancer, for your business. And again, this is not a personal reading. This is a business reading. But sometimes it'll show up if you are doing something, preventing your business from success, like anxiety or you're in your head too much or you're sabotaging your success in some way. Spirit to pick up on that energy as well, but um, my higher self, spirit, whatever you want to call it, I call it my higher self. But if not, this is about your business. So far, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Hangman, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Lots of ooh. Yeah, lots of pentacles in your reading, which is good. Money, business is about making money, so this is really good. So anyway, let me read these cards, get an intuitive feel of, as to what spirit is trying to reveal to you about your business. And while I do that, please watch this really quick video about the service that I provide for business owners um, manifesting in business. And I'll I've that. manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides that give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help. And if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you. Good luck and peace. Some cancers. So I just read the cards for your business and I also pulled some oracle cards to start off with the bottom of the deck overall energy, which is the page of page of cups. That's just attuning to your need for persistence in your business. You need to be persistent in order to produce the success that the level of success that you would like to manifest in your business. That's one thing. Secondly, you got the oracle cards, you got surrender to the divine and waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. This is about putting the required, again, energy and persistence you need in order to manifest the results in your business, but also combining that with faith and spiritual principles, um, putting out there what it is, you know, using the law of attraction to your advantage, but also working towards it. This is about practicality and spirituality working together to manifest the goals that you would like in your business. And we're, we aren't taught um, to include spirituality in our business, but telling you it. it's the key to success so you have surrender to the fine i know i just heard something i don't know what that was anyway you have surrender to the divine put the necessary spiritual support that is using the law of attraction making it very clear to yourself in the universe exactly what it is you're trying to manifest in your business this is having faith that everything is working together for your good, that your business is, that increase is flowing to you and things of that sort. It's about positivity. It's about good energy. It's about positive vibes, high vibrations for your business. But also, energy is gaining momentum. It's about putting the necessary energy, the practical energy and the work into your business, being very persistent in order to reach the level of success that you would like to reach. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles as the first card. Again, what is the Nine of Pentacles? He has his coins in his hand. He's focused on his coin. He's putting the work, the necessary work required into his business. It's not impulsive. It's not um, 
you know, short lived. It's focused. It's determined. It's repetitive. It's putting in the work required in order for you to manifest the level of success you would like in your business. Then you have the hangman, which is, you know, go within. But this is also attuning to your need to, again, use spirituality to your advantage. Put the necessary work in and release positive energy and vibes into the environment. Meaning, okay, you want 10 orders a day. You put that out there into the universe and you know that it's flowing to you. You put your goals out. Whatever it is that you have that you want to manifest in your business, continuously put the work and effort and energy into it, but also put the spiritual energy into it as well. Knowing that whatever it is that you spoke into existence, whatever it is you speak and think, and feel in regards to your business is manifesting so you don't want to be putting in the work but thinking it's not working and we've all been there i've been there too and i have to do my i have to do readings on my business and myself as well in order to keep me on the right track and things aren't what they seem so whatever you got to do get your mind in the right space get your spirit in the right space put it out there into the universe exactly what it is that you want out of your business and work towards it persistently every day in order to reach your goals that will bring you completion the Ten of Cups is completion, it's success, it's fulfillment, and stability in your business. And King of Pentacles reiterates that. Stability, um, abundance, worldly success, reliability, comfort, you know. But the King of Pentacles got there from determination, from hard work, from putting the necessary energy required in order to manifest your level of success that you desire in your business. Then you have the Six of Pentacles. Again, attuning to a balance of both spirituality and practicality in order to balance or obtain the level of success that you would like to obtain. And the Six of Pentacles also obtain, uh, you know, refers to giving and receiving, a balance of giving and receiving, giving the effort, putting the effort in, and receiving results from that effort that you put in. It's about balance. It's about um, things happening. It's about cause and effect. You get what you give. You, you get what you give. So it's about putting the energy and necessary mental, spiritual, and physical energy into your business and expecting to receive the results because you put the work in. And Queen of Swords is about the necessary, um, this is about the law of attraction. This is about putting in the necessary mental work and spiritual work again. It's just reiterating that, but having it in writing, writing down your objectives, writing down your goals, and speaking them into existence and making them known to yourself and others, those working on your business in the universe, period, the God, whatever you want to call it, putting it out there, exactly what you're trying to manifest so that your divine kites can work with you, so that the energy in the universe can work with you to manifest your goals. Um, I don't mean to sound too spiritual on this. Because it is business, but business and spirituality work together in order to create synergetic results. If you want abundance, if you want reliability, if you want stability in your business, why not use all energies? Not just one, not just not just persistence and hard work and determination. Of course, you have to do that, but also spirituality. You want to use both in order to reach a higher level of success, in order to reach synergetic results, in order to reach the worldly success that you desire in your business. I hope this helps. I wish you love and light in your business. If you would like a private reading on your business, click the link in the description and I'll be glad to help. Peace.